What's going on? I'm here at the Score Fighting Series with Will Romero, one of Ontario's top mixed martial artists, I would say. I saw him a couple months not too long ago, and he's very impressive. He's fighting tonight on the Score Fighting Series in the co-main event. How do you think that's going to go down for you? Uh, I think it's going to go uh, as planned. Uh, you know, I worked uh, real hard for this fight, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to uh, put my hard work into practice. Do you consider this your biggest fight yet since this is the co-main event? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, this, this fight means a lot to me, you know, it's, I think your last impression is always uh, your lasting impression, so, uh, you know, uh, I have a lot to prove, and I want to prove that I am amongst the top 10. I'm still in the top 10, but, you know, i got to beat guys like Steph Bernadette to, to, to prove that I did belong there, and uh, that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, you trained at Iron Tiger? Yeah, I trained at Iron Tiger with Ben Homogen and uh, got some good guys there that train with a lot of guys that fight on the uh, circuit. Yeah, you guys have a solid crew there, Iron Tiger and Iron, right? So you guys have got to be some of the toughest coming up there. Do you ever find it hard to go in there when you know everybody's just aiming for the top like they are? No, you know, actually, uh, it's exciting because, uh, you know, I have a Dennis Pirich, uh, Josh Hill, Lyndon Whitlock, Mukai Moromo, Shane Campbell, uh, Claude Patrick, uh, Scotty, uh, you know, there's just so many guys that, you know, when you go to train, you know, you, you know you're going to train, you know what I mean? And yeah, you know, you, you, there's, these guys are all top and they're going to push you, but that's what it's all about, you know? So I'm blessed to have a great team, great coach, great surroundings. So it sounds like you're not afraid of hard work, which uh, is very respectable. Uh, if you could fight anybody or get matched up in the UFC, who would you pick as a good person to match up with you? whether to stand out or just that you think would be an interesting matchup? That's an awesome question, man. Uh, I'm a big fan. You know, I love the sport. I love the, I love, I love the UFC. Uh, two guys. One, you would have to say Jose Aldo, just because he's a champ. You know, uh, it'd be great to get in there with such a pound talented pound fighter. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's one of the greatest to me, and uh, I think he's top three in the world, pound for pound. It'd be great to fight someone like that, you know? Uh, and then Leonard Garcia, man. I love this guy, man. This guy is exciting as hell. He's got the biggest heart in the world of any fighter I've ever seen in my life. He's, that he's a Mexican, you know, and these Mexican guys, man, I don't think if you shoot him, he's going to he's gonna stop, you know, so big up there to uh, Leonard Garcia. Is there a lot of inspiration for you seeing the lighter weight classes showcased now in the UFC? Yeah, man, it's great because, you know, uh, when, the, when the 45s and the 35s weren't in the UFC, I was fighting in Bellator and awesome promotion, but, uh, you know, it's That's good That's where to I saw you. Yeah, it's good to see... Now that they have it, you know, these guys are pro pro providing the most exciting fight, so it's great, you know, I'm excited. Yeah, for sure. You can see how it would light a fire under your ass to get the career going. It seems like everything lined up for you, too, with the legalization of MMA in Ontario as well. Uh, with Mixed Martial Arts, what is your ultimate goal? The UFC? Yeah, you know, UFC or Bellator, you know, Bellator has been really good to me. I, you know, I'm going to be fighting in Bellator, you know, in the, in the upcoming month, and you know, Bellator is a huge organization. They got some great fighters, some of the best fighters in the world. To to compete for an organization like that, you know, fighting the best, or an organization like the UFC, it'd be an honor. It's my dream, and I just want to be the best. And wherever that takes me, and I'm, I'm gonna go. Is there any other crossover potentially for you into another sport besides wrestling, like Muay Thai, perhaps? I mean, besides MMA, like Muay Thai. Yeah, you know, I fight Muay Thai professionally. Okay. Uh, I just fought a couple months ago uh, for a CFC in Winnipeg. Um, you know, I, I love martial arts, man. You know, I, I love jiu-jitsu, I love wrestling, I love to bang, you know. So, uh, you know, boxing is one thing that I love and that I haven't done yet. So, that's something that's always, you know, been there and an option. And But it's just, I just haven't had the, uh, the opportunity or the timing because I've been busy. But uh, that's something that I'm going to definitely, definitely do before my, you know, very soon. Maybe within the next year, you know, I want to get a few boxing my fights in under my belt. That, and you think you'd fare well with that? or is Yeah, that you know, just... I believe in myself. Yeah. Um, different sport, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it takes different amount of skills, but uh, like I said, I love it. I do a lot of boxing, and uh, I want to test myself. You know, I like to challenge myself. I I don't go for the easy way out, you know, and then I think that would be a good challenge, and I'd like to uh, see how I do. I would too. Best of luck to you wherever you compete, and I wish you luck tomorrow with the score fighting series. Awesome. Thank Can't you for your time. Man. Thanks. Later. And that's why I'm still standing around like a goon. So, I'm here with Dennis Purick from Hamilton, Ontario. Who are you, who's going to be taking part in the score fighting series tomorrow? And who are you taking on tomorrow? Uh, his name is Corey Houston. He's, uh, I think he's a boxer from Winnipeg. It's supposed to be a good stand-up fight, so let's see what happens.
And is that how it's gonna go down? It's gonna be a big, good standing up fight. That's that's the plan. That's what I'm hoping for. You know. Looking ready to smack, ready to smack some faces in. Oh yeah, of course, always. You know, it's been a year and a half since your last fight. Uh, what was the, what was taking so long in between? Man, it went through like ten different opponents. It's been very hard for me to find an opponent. Uh, it's been training very hard, and I guess uh, people see me knock some people out, so. They think quite twice about uh, coming into the day with me. So finally, we found an opponent, which is uh, I had to step up a weight class. I'm fighting at 145, usually I fight 135. But uh, I'm ready for whatever, so let's go. You're one of those people that's known as being a little hard to make a match for as well because people seem to be a little shook, not to toot your own horn there. But uh, how long do you think it's going to take you to finish this fight? Do you think it's going to be a great performance from you and it's going to scare people even more? Uh, well, the plan is to just knock the boy out first round. Uh, we'll see how, how his uh, game plan is. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to take me down because I know he's got a little bit of jits. Uh, but how many years have out. you been training for this? Uh, I've been doing martial arts all my life since I was 8 years old. Uh, for this fight, I've been actually training for about nine months because <laughs> I, I was supposed to fight a couple months back, never happened. I was supposed to fight against about four of my fights got flopped. So basically, I've been in training camp for about nine months. So I'm ready, I'm ready to bang someone up. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, you say you fight at 135. If you were to make an entrance into the UFC, who would you pick as somebody that you think would be a good matchup for you in your first couple fights? Uh, Somebody that you would like to fight, maybe just because you respect their warrior spirit. Dominic Cruz, man, he's, uh, he's one of my favorite 135ers, and uh, May as well I would right like to, the to see. Yeah, I would like to see how I would match up against him. Me too. He's a very speedy guy, so yeah, he moves around a lot. He's kind of reminds me of me when we fight. A lot of movement, uh, very very orthodox. I mean, unorthodox. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your record for those of us that don't know? Sorry? What's your pro record for those of us that don't know? Uh, I'm 3 and 2 right now. One, uh, one D, DQ. Uh, lost by our bar once, but it will happen again. Yeah, we're not focusing on that here. We're focusing on the good stuff. Yeah. Like how you're going to give a performance of a lifetime tomorrow. You're sure. off. you got to be hungry as hell. Oh, I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry for this fight, man. I've been waiting. been waiting a long time. been a long time coming for me. and. Uh, I'm ready. I'm pumped. Well, we're glad to see you here in the Score Fighting Series. Hope you, that you have your time to shine. And thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? I'm here with Brett Cooper, the co-main event for the Score Fighting Series, dressed in all Kimura wear, I noticed, proudly representing. Yeah. Um, how do you think this fight's going to go tomorrow? You're in there with uh, quite the veteran in Joe Dirksen. Well, I gotta shave my beard, so I mean, that's one thing that the commission is going to do, just kind of stupid, if you ask me. Do you take that as a loss already going in? No, I, I don't really care, but, but uh, that should be a good fight, you know, the better end of a lot of fights. Yeah. Knows how to do everything, he's good at everything, so, you know, should be a good scrap. Are you going to hesitate on the ground, or is that something you're more than willing to take him to, knowing that he's quite the master oh, yeah. in jujitsu? Yeah, no, he, he's good at jiu-jitsu, but I mean, I'm good at everything, so I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I mean, that's, a, I don't want to play his game exactly, but, sure. you know, I, I, I know what's going on. But, yeah. For anyone less familiar with you, what would be a standout fight of yours that they should go try and look out to see the best of Brett Cooper? I don't know, I guess, like, the last ten fights of mine. <laughs> well, all of them, really. Yeah? Yeah, probably, like, any, any fight, like. Um, the end of 2007 till now, really. So you're a never-ending highlight reel, eh? <laughs> well, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I mean, there's not really, I can't really say one fight in particular. I Makes to, sense. I try to always do my best, you know. Yep, and I know, have no doubt that you'll do the same again this time. Yep. Uh, is there anything special you'd like to say to the Canadian fans or in regards to the score fighting series? Uh, we'll go ahead and watch the score tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be in the main event against uh, the Bucks in. Uh, it should be a good fight, and uh, you know, thanks to my sponsors, Kimura Wear, and uh, you know, good, good shorts and uh, good shirt. 
I have those shorts at home too, by the way. You got these shorts in one hand? Yeah, yeah. Not, and I have that shirt in black too, not to say yeah. anything else, but... Yeah, so, you know, just watch fight and hope you like it. Sure. Uh, I am going to ask you another question just because I'm random like that. Uh, what made you want to get into mixed martial arts in the first place? Uh, well, I think uh, MMA or fighting is the truest form of competition. I mean, there's, really, there's, not, there's not too many rules, you know, a lot of sports. Uh, competition comes down to like, uh, kind of like, uh, it's all, it always comes down to combat, it's kind of confrontation. You know? It's baseball, you're, you know, you're always trying to conquer something, you're always trying to, you're always, you're always in a constant battle, so that's, that's how it goes. But uh, I think MMA gets to the point and uh, throws all the all the funky rules and, and stuff out of the way, and you know you just get right to it. See, so weren't inspired by Jean Claude Van Damme or Bruce Lee or anything, or Hulk oh, no, Hogan I, or something I, ridiculous. Oh, of course, of course. I, I, I watched all those guys growing up. Uh, I really like Bruce Lee. He has uh, a lot of good philosophies and stuff. And, uh, um, Do you think yeah. his style will ever work for MMA? Well, yeah, no, I, it's not so much his style, because he didn't believe in style. He believed that his philosophy was no style, so, yeah. I mean, uh, I, think, I, think, I think his philosophy of, you know, no style is really valid in, in this day, and, and it's a re really realistic thing, you know. He's one of the a, first people to mix the martial arts. Yeah, you know, he, was, he was the first, you know, the first publicized MMA guy, you know, so he, uh, yeah, he's one of the first guys, so... Yeah, I mean, you know, I grew up watching Chuck Norris and John claude Van Damme and all those guys, you know, so you know, I really like that, so. Yeah, that's what brings everybody to the table, I think, with blood sport. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Some moment like that, but you're not going to drop in the splits and do any low blows, right? I don't, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Yeah, I think they'll uh, give you some sort of t some sort of red card or something for that. Yeah. But uh, it's good to have you in the city, and it's good to see you competing. Thanks for your time today. Thanks a lot. Thanks.